In today's tutorial, I'll show you how to seamlessly integrate Samsung SmartThings devices into your Homey Pro ecosystem. I'll be guiding you through the process for achieving this control without the need for migrating any of your SmartThings devices from your SmartThings hub. So I've already got this set up in the app. I have several of my SmartThings devices connected here in the studio. One of them is the studio lamp that you see over there. I'm gonna turn this off and back on again, off, on. So pretty responsive. I also have additional studio lights back here that are currently off. I'm gonna go ahead and turn those on as well. There's the studio lights one and studio lights two. And we'll turn those back off so that we reduce some of the glare. The control that I just exhibited was accomplished by generating an access token, which is used to grant Homey Pro access to the SmartThings account. There are just a few easy steps to achieve this ability. Step one, download and install the Homey Community Space app. The Homey Community Space app gives you access to the Homey Community Store. Step two, download and install the SmartThings 2 app from the Homey Community Store. The SmartThings 2 app is the bridge that connects your Homey Pro with all your SmartThings devices. Step three, generate a Samsung SmartThings access token and then apply it to your SmartThings 2 app. Step four, open your Homey app to the devices tab and select the devices that you want to be able to view and control within your Homey Pro app. Having access to my SmartThings devices within the Homey Pro app will allow me to explore the full potential of Homey Pro. Now let's show you how to get all this set up in your Homey Pro hub. What? You haven't ordered your Homey Pro hub yet? Don't worry, I've got you covered. There's a link in the description below. All right, step one. This is installing the Homey Community Space app. To start, we must download the Homey Community Space app to our Homey Pro Hub via either a Windows PC or a Mac computer. Make certain that your Windows PC or desktop is on the same network that you have installed your Homey Pro Hub. Using your PC or Mac browser, go to the Homey Community Space, download the Homey Community Space installer to either your Windows or your Mac operating system by tapping on the download link at the top and to the right of the title Homey Community Space. When installing the Homey Community Space installer on a Windows PC, you're likely to get a Windows Defender protection pop-up window. If you do, tap on more information and then tap on the Run Anyway button. The app will then install and the Community Space login window will appear you'll need to create a Homey Community Space account. To create an account, click on Sign Up next to the phrase, Need an Account. Note that this is not your Homey Pro login. The login name and password that you create should be different than the information used for your Homey Pro login. Since I've already created my Homey Pro Community Space account, I will enter the established username and login. Next, you will click on Continue to be redirected to the Homey Community Space app to grant the necessary permissions. You will then see a screen displaying your Homey Pro account email. If your Homey Pro account email is not displayed, then add your account information. Once added, click on your Homey Pro account email to proceed to the next step. The following screen will request that you allow Homey CLI to access your Homey Pro account. Click on Allow to grant Homey CLI permissions to full access of your Homey, to view your name and email, and to view your Homey hubs. Now with the Homey Community Space account set up, close the window on your desktop and open the Homey Pro app on your mobile device. Tap on More in the lower right, and then tap on Apps. You should find the Homey Community Space app in your list of installed apps. Step two, installing the SmartThings 2 app. You will install the SmartThings 2 app from within the Homey Community Space app. To do this, you will open the Homey Community Space app and go to the app settings to log in and download the unofficial community app called the SmartThings 2 app. 
You will log into your homey community space using the same login you just created in the previous step. The SmartThings 2 app can be installed from within the homey community space app via the store tab. Allow me to take you through the steps. Tap on the homey community space app and then tap on the settings cog that looks like a little gear in the upper right hand corner of your app. Now tap on app settings. Look under the account tab to verify whether you're logged in. Log in if you're not already logged in. Next, you must tap on the store tab. Find the SmartThings 2 app in the list of the store apps and then tap on install to add it to your homey account. Tap on done twice and then close out of the installer and scroll through your homey apps to verify that the SmartThings 2 app was indeed installed. Step three, generating a personal access token. You must now create a personal access token. Look for the link below in the description labeled generate SmartThings account access token. There are detailed instructions for installing the personal access token and for downloading and installing the SmartThings 2 app within the Homey Community Forum article. To access this forum article, just click on the link below in the description titled Homey Community Forum Guide. Follow the instructions in the SmartThings 2 Homey Pro app article to accomplish the following. Generate an access token using your SmartThings account. Secondly, copy the personal access token and enter it into the configuration settings of the SmartThings 2 app and then save the change settings. You will then be ready to add your SmartThings devices for viewing and control within the Homey app. Now let's go on to the final step of setup by adding SmartThings devices to your Homey app. Now I highly recommend that you only select a few of the physical devices to test before you begin to bring a massive number of devices into the app. Also, you will likely want to exclude any virtual switches as well. My app seemed to get slow and laggy when I tried to bring all physical and virtual devices into the Homey app. Assuming that you have your zones all set up within the Homey app, I would recommend that you bring your SmartThings devices in from within each zone. Otherwise, you'll end up having to go to each device individually after you bring the devices in and reassign each device to the appropriate zone. I have three smart blinds installed in my garage. I will demonstrate the process for adding SmartThings devices to a particular zone by adding my garage blinds to the Homey Hub garage zone. First, I'll open the garage zone, then I'll tap on the device tab then I'll tap on the plus sign, tap on new device. Next, I must select the SmartThings 2 app, tap on SmartThings devices, and then tap on connect. I'll first tap on deselect all, and then only select the SmartThings devices that I want to bring into the Homey garage zone. To finish, I'll confirm access by tapping on continue. So now you have the ability to view and control your Samsung SmartThings devices from within the Homey Pro app. As stated earlier, I'll be using this tool to create flows that replicate and possibly enhance some of my existing SmartThings routines. Be sure to like and comment as I enjoy and benefit from your thoughts and opinions. Until we next meet, stay smart and stay connected.